It's uh, something that every band director dreads and parents dread as well when the student comes back after a long, I mean, a long summer of not having played, their skills go backward a great deal. And it's frustrating for them too. And it's so easy to get to the holiday and think, ah, oh, I'm free, I'm, I'm done. But to be, to really make progress on an instrument, you have to keep working every day. It's a, it's a daily thing. And so trying to get them in the habit of seeing the instrument as something that's a part of their daily routine instead of just when they have band class during the fall and in the, the spring is something that's a big challenge for private teachers, for parents, and for, for band directors. I think there's several things you can do. First of all, find a great private teacher that motivates them so they have a weekly goal. They're meeting with someone so they've got something to work toward. Since they're, since they're not in band, they, you know, they don't have that daily band class to go to. Now they have a goal of a weekly lesson to prepare for and hopefully make lessons um, challenging but fun. And there are also a lot of great opportunities during the summer for music camps to go to all over the country. Great music camps happening where students can go get a great shot in the arm. They play in an ensemble. They get some studies in theory and history and get to play in chamber ensembles. And that's another way to give them something to look forward to. And with so many camps happening, they can, many students like to hop from camp to camp and it just keeps that enthusiasm going. The, the problem that I see happen the most is when parents are really nagging a student to practice. They make it something or punish them with practice, you know, by if they're, if they're not doing it, they're going to have to go practice before they can do something fun. But instead, I would encourage them to try to make it just a, a normal part of the daily routine and for the parents to be actively involved. So take an interest, you know, ask them questions. What are they practicing? Listen, listen to what they're practicing and try to give them a chance to, to feel like what they're doing is worthwhile and important to the family and not just something that they're being forced to do. You know, playing an instrument is hard work, but that hard work build up over time to, to make you know, someone's talents come through. So it's a very important thing. In my experience, both teaching middle school band and teaching private lessons and university students, the big thing would be to stay positive, stay encouraging, um, make sure they have good equipment that plays well. Summer's a great chance also to have their instruments checked out to make sure that after season of marching band or a season just of a lot of hours of playing that everything is working well because it's another big frustration for students when instruments aren't performing at their top. Um, maybe a chance to give them something to work towards, like if, you know, if you're staying involved and you're practicing consistently, we'll look at getting an upgrade, a better instrument. Um, and then keeping them again involved in a quality private lesson program and, and going into summer music camps and things like that to keep them actively engaged during the summer. So they come back to school playing better rather than going backward.